I got my cook's hat on today from OU, where I graduated from, but I got my orange on also, just because I have to represent the Cowboys where I did my undergraduate. So, the ingredients. Here's all the ingredients. So you're gonna need a tablespoon of butter, a half cup of sliced red bell pepper, half cup of thinly sliced onion, half cup of zucchini, one cup of chopped cooked ham, four large eggs, one quarter cup of milk, one quarter teaspoon of salt, a dash of pepper, one medium Romo tomato sliced, one fourth cup of Italian style cheese blend. Ooh, grab that. Grab the Italian style cheese blend. Everybody loves cheese. And one tablespoon of fresh basil. The first thing we did was warm up the skillet. It's on medium heat. Now that it's all hot, we're gonna throw in our tablespoon of butter. Get a half cup of sliced onion. I'm told that if you are slicing onion and it's hurting your eyes, that you can run it under cold water while you're chopping it and it will alleviate this problem. But I feel, I mean, you can try it, but Cutting in the sink does not seem very easy to me, so therefore, that's why I don't do it. This is about a half a cup. And I'm liberal with my vegetables. I like to eat lots of vegetables, so I usually put more than what the ingredients say. So that's gonna go in with our butter. Yeah, I hear that sizzle. That's what you want here. We're gonna slice up our bell pepper. Colored bell peppers have more flavor than the green, but the green's usually cheaper, so it doesn't really matter. Whatever you prefer. Zucchini. It's not a cucumber. It's zucchini. Chop this up. Throw it in there. And the nice thing about these frittatas is I'm using all fresh ingredients for this one, but if you have leftover veggies, you can put whatever type of veggies you have in leftover from other meals in your refrigerator into here. And it comes out just as well. I've thrown my broccoli in here, Brussels sprouts, um, really any type of vegetable will work. Whatever you like, whatever you have in your fridge that you're trying to use. All right, and then our ham's gonna go in there. This is a cup of chopped ham. All of that. Let's see. We're gonna put mix up our egg. So we're gonna put four eggs into a bowl. Just a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and we're going to use our whisk and mix it up. Now our veggies and ham, we're going to saute them for three to four minutes till the veggies start to get a little soft and the ham starts to brown a little. Now we're going to prepare while that's still sauteing until it starts to brown. We're going to prepare our toppings for the end. Um, slice up tomatoes. And these are going to go on top of our frittata. Also 
going to go with our tomatoes. And if you don't have fresh basil, if this is a little over the top for you, if you're trying to keep it simple, it's fine without it. You don't need it. Even if you just took all the eggs and vegetables and fried them up together, it would be more like scrambled, but that would be great too. This is just getting a little, a little more fancy with it. Mmm, smells yummy. egg mixture. We're going to pour it in here. That's going to cook on the medium heat we have it on right now for eight minutes. So we'll set the timer. What you're looking for on this is for the eggs to start setting to where they're cooked almost like a pancake. Gotta be careful not to burn it though. That's it's a balance between letting the egg set and then not burning it. So you gotta kinda know your oven. Every oven's a little different. Mm, smells so good. Alright, I can see the egg starting to set. You can see like the whiteness coming through. So I'm gonna turn it down to low. And then I'm gonna set the timer for three minutes, but we need to get our toppings on. So once the eggs start to set after about six to eight minutes, we're going to put our toppings on. Just like a pizza. You know what would be great in here that I should have thrown in is some spinach. I love tomatoes and spinach and cheese. This almost looks like spinach. Once the eggs have begun to set and you put your tomatoes, your basil, and your cheese on here, we're going to broil it just for a couple minutes till we start seeing it get crisp on the top. I'm going to use extra cheese. Got to have more cheese than that. Not too much, just a little bit so everybody gets a bite. Mmm. Broil it for five minutes. And that'll finish off the eggs and make everything crisp on the top. All our toppings. So five minutes. Okay. Alright, it, it only took three minutes, so we're good. Ooh, it looks delicious. Some no chip. I know you do. It looks like a really good pizza, but it doesn't have all that bread. There is some cheese, but it's not a ton of cheese. It's not gonna kill you, and it's you're gonna feel a lot better when you eat it, and it's gonna make you feel stronger. Like this is the type of food you eat. It's delicious, and you feel strong after you eat it. You're ready to work out, take on your day, let it cool for five or ten minutes that it's set. It's all like a pizza, so I just use a pizza cutter to cut it up. It's good. If I didn't care about my weight or cutting, or stay under. I would definitely add more cheese. Mmm. <laughs> but it's still really good the way it is. Mmm.